Welcome back to Sync to Sync TV. I'm your host, Pete, and we have the pleasure of being here with Booga, the yeah. governor. Yes, 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 yes. You How know you I'm doing, already. I'm good, and yourself? I'm good. Happy New Year to you Thank and your you. family. Thank you. Thank know? you, and same to you. Thank you so Listen, much. Listen, 2020 yeah. was a beast. Ooh. <laughs> We made it through, so give oh, thanks. Oh, God. You know? Thanks, thanks, thanks to everyone hey, in the universe. Every, the listen, universe. whatever you worship, spiritual world, thank man. you. Listen, I love I love your um your hat. Oh, man, thanks. My homegirl, um, Freezy, up in New York, she made it for me, sent it down. That's dope. You know, I like it. It's a union on it. You guys can't see it. Yeah. Oh. So why Booga the governor? The name. Well, you know, ever since a kid, you know, in school, they've always called me Booger. You know, I've always had, I grew up in New York and I've always had sinus issues. So that's where the, <laughs> on the real, like, that's where Booger came from. And then the governor is just like from, you know, my work ah. ethics and my, you know, they just started calling me governor, governor. So it just became Booger D. Governor. I'm on Fuerca, and how the yeah. name just sticks to you. Yeah, I mean, you know. They started, you know, they teased me with it, and I figured I'd, you know, get checks with it. Ah, and that's what I did. It, love you it. Know? Okay. That's what I did. I turned, that's what's up. I, so, I turned the negative to a positive, like my man Pitbull would say, you know? I love it. Because, <laughs> listen, they used to call me Short Loser. Hey. Because my last name was Long Champ. Man, you should become a rapper and be Short Loser. <laughs> and be like, what? Okay, you know? so as far as business is concerned, you have really made your mark and continue to make your mark in the music industry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look we at striving. you. Like, uh, look. You know, it's, <laughs> we striving. You, I mean, you, we, you, you, know. you, your resume speaks for itself. I appreciate what it. Is, Thank what you is so it much. about the music industry that, you know, captivated you in saying, all right, you know, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to roll with it. Well, when it comes to music, like, ever since I was a kid, I've always been into my music. My, mm -hmm. my siblings, my family grew up in the church. They were always singing, had church groups, whatever. So I've always been around music. And as I got older, you know, it kind of really fell in my lap. I started working in the industry, you know. I started, um, my cousin Arthur Papillon, he was the student uh uh student president at uh, FIU. Okay. Right? And from that, we started I like that last on name, point. Papillon. You know, we started the company on point. Mm -hmm. And FIU was really like our office, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? As he was the student government president. We just took advantage and, you know, we would um, do events there. Nice. Uh, we'd bring artists down. Nice. Comedians, things of that nature. And um, through that, you know, I started doing promotions, mm. right? Because we were doing these events and they were successful, whatever. And when we say promotions, people mm -hmm. don't realize how the prom I mean, mm -hmm. you don't seem that young. <laughs> Not trying to age you, but I'm just saying how promotions were back then in comparison right. to now. I mean, it's right now it's at, it's at your fingertip. Pretty much. You know, it's you like, had to be a beast back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, we were in the streets, putting <laughs> yes. posters up. Yeah. Uh, you know, dodging police. Yeah. You know, putting flyers on Listen, cars. We, right here in Hollywood, I got arrested putting you flyers get on cars. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. So, so I don't want I don't want people to hear, oh, you was doing promotion and just no, no. Nah, promotion was a different it was animal. A, it was a different animal, yeah. man. You know, and out of that comes the Khalids, comes mm -hmm. the the um, best of the best, right. comes you know, Rockers Island. Right. I mean, there's so many things that we were involved with that we did, and. Um, you know, we're here today still, still pushing. So out of all the artists that you had the opportunity to work with or had a hand in developing, mm -hmm. which one would you say that, you know, you got the most out of? That I got the most out yeah. of? Like, yeah. I don't... Experience-wise, I would I say experience-wise, lessons. I would always say my brother Wyclef because okay. with him, you know, it's a constant thing. I'm always learning from him, you know, like... And I started out around him so young, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like I've learned a lot over the years just, you know, vibing with him, just the opportunity to have conversations that others don't really have, you know and what I mean? And that's priceless. Like, so I would say him, you know what I mean? And then the Marleys, you know, because they're like my second family, you know oh, what I mean? Nice. So it's like when it comes to Steven and Damien, like they treat me like, you know, I was a Marley. So right, it's right, like right. that's priceless, you know what I mean? Like, you know. Um, they, you know, those two would be the, 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 the two, you know what I mean? The Marley's and, uh, Clef. And you so chill yeah. with it? Huh? You so chill with it? So chill. humble? I mean, they're people like us, you know what I mean? Like, That's right. But, the, you know, the, 
the knowledge and the conversations that we have, those are priceless, you know? Very much so. Very yeah. much so. And that's why people Sorry. pay now All for day. you to sit down and have a conversation because the wealth of knowledge is unbelievable. Yeah, that's what's really important. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not their cribs, their cars, their, you know. Right. None of their materialistic things, but the conversations that you can have, the knowledge and the experience that they have that they could pass on to exactly. you. Exactly. That's what, you know, All that's right, what so it's about. We're here with Buddha. Yep, yep, the yep, governor. Yep, yep, we'll yep. be right back in just a few. Stick and stay. Thanks for TV.